Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work with the Chaos Space Marine trim on Chaos Space Marine armor. I know what you're going to say, wow, another Chaos Space Marine video. How many of these is he going to put out? At least, maybe, three more. Um, but today we are going to be doing something that will actually help you on your journey if you play Chaos Space Marines. We're going to be learning how to work with the golden trim on most Chaos Space Marine units. Uh, we are going to be using this model with a melta gun that I just finished base coating. <clears throat> uh, what I would recommend is using a fine detail brush. But enough of the ramble what's actually paint. Okay. So, like I said, fine detail brush. Uh, preferably one with a longer bristle body and a brush that holds a nice, firm, pointed tip. Uh, you want flexibility in the bristles, obviously. But you want decent, thick body as well as longer nice firm tip now I've got some paint on my brush here but we actually want to do is wipe some of that paint off that way we get a little bit more control so I am going to bring brush to a nice tip again I'm gonna very very carefully do edge highlights in the purple areas. So this may take a little bit, but it's one of the things that people have problems with with the Chaos Space Marine trim. Uh, I picked up this little trick while doing my Harkin World Claimer model. Now, confused about that, it is an HQ model, and I absolutely love it. But just doing thin lines. And if there's any really tight and closed spaces, only do edge highlights in a couple key areas. Okay. I'm sorry if you can see that well, because I am actually using my tablet camera to record these videos. I'm going to use a webcam here in the next few days. I'm just swiping a little bit of paint off. I'm going to try and get it a little bit more focused. We're going to start with this leg. Okay. I am bracing my arms on my table. And I'm essentially freehanding little lines of pink 
to highlight my purple. Now, highlights are pretty tricky, but if you get used to it, it'll be a breeze. Okay, now I've shown you my old trick when it comes to edge highlighting, the power armor. <clears throat> Now, we're going to take a look at our box art here. Now, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Take a look at our golden trim here. You will see that it has bright silver edge highlights. Now, how do we accomplish this you might ask well it is probably best that we don't personally for me metallic paints because the metallic pigments in them are already reflective so they don't exactly benefit from a lot of edge highlights <clears throat> I mean if you wanted to do edge highlights go for it. I edge highlighted the little bits on the power sword for the sergeant of the group. But if you don't want to do edge highlights, that's completely okay. It'll still look good. And that is pretty much about all I have to say regarding Chaos Space Marine Trim. Uh, it may look hard at first, but it's actually pretty easy to work with it instead of working against it. Working against it is what most people do to try and edge highlight, but what I did is essentially used... I know this is a different model, but this is just an example. I used the trim to outline my edge highlights. And I actually use the trim to help guide my brush, just going slightly up against it, just slightly, and move my brush along that area. Not the trim, just the power armor panels inside of that trim. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, leave a like down below, subscribe, and comment what you would like to see me do next. As always, keep casting spells and keep painting minis. We'll see you in the next one.